Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com going over INTC. INTC work today did not go to the full on target, which was 23. It did have a nice move and a bunch of entries in it if you played it in dips. Um, it was hard going if you got in the thing and tried to hold it down for the whole way. Why? The first entry actually flipped after you took it. Very rare, but this thing jerked around a little bit and wanted to go up all the way to about 61 before it fell. You can see it better here in the five minute. So if you aggressively took the one minute on this, you got paid if you got right out. If you went back after it on the one minute looking for the trend to hold, you got taken out and it flipped up over it. Here was the real entry on this when it set up. Now how would you have known this was going to work? Well, the failure here. The failure of the five minute to go higher, it did go up to number it hold, and not only that, it was a good gap. I mean, this absolutely is a good gap. So the stock started to move down, and in this moment here, it went to 25, and I said, oh, I know this is lower. I absolutely know this is lower. I just know this is going to go lower, and I saw the 15 minutes setting up. So I decided to do this on a bigger time frame chart on a 15 minute. So I was inching my way into this to get to get short in this right in here around this 11 o'clock, 11.15 and I got it. And it had a beautiful reversal bar here where it just sliced right through and went down and it was a nice trade. Even though it didn't go to the bigger target, it still was a nice trade that fell on through and didn't have any hiccups. I mean, as soon as you took it, you felt comfortable with it. And when it backed up here, it immediately flipped and it really never went over 35. So I had a nice late trade in this um, into the lunchtime period. And then when it double bottomed, I got out. Okay. So it did have a good exit on this um, simply because I saw the double bottom and the number was 2315 that I thought that it was going to hold as a possible halt. I really thought I could get to 23, but I wasn't taking my chances with this because the fact is it is a snail and it really normally goes 50, 60 cents in a day. A dollar is a huge move for this thing. So this is INTC. It was a little teeny weeny gap today that had a nice move in it. Uh, and you, as soon as you took the trade, you got paid if you did the afternoon one. If you did it in the morning, it was tough going unless you kept at it, but you still made money. Even if you took the first setup and got all out or took the first setup and retook it on the five, uh, there was profit in this today to be made. And so you had to really just stick with it. It was a nice afternoon play here, though, that I did. I really think this was like the best one in here because it just fell. And this reversal in here into 1145 was really good. And the double bottom was a nice exit, too. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information uh, on how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. This is INTC, Golden Gap for. Thursday, July 18th. Any questions, let me know. Thanks, everybody.